Hello there. This video is for all you people who have just started out with your blogging career, right? I mean, you've been writing a post every day or every week, whatever it is, and at this point in time, even though you've been busting a gut, right, you've got no one coming to visit you. No one showing the slightest bit of interest. No one leaving you a comment. Can you relate to that? Because if you can, I've got three simple tips to help you, okay? My name is Peter Beckham, the Village Marketer, from PeterBeckham.com. And as always, talking to you from my little Thai village, way up near the Cambodian border. Let me tell you, there's nothing worse than actually doing all that effort for your blogging and getting nothing in return. Not even a single visitor who wants to say hello to you. Right? It's soul-destroying, I know. So, here's three simple tips. Do they work? Absolutely. I've done them myself. You can come and visit my blog and see the proof for yourself if you like, okay? PeterBeckham.com. There it is, right? So, tip number one. Know who in the heck you're writing posts for. Really make sure you understand who your target audience is. And not just who they are, but what are their challenges? What are their, what are their pain points or their problems or their frustrations? You must have that very clear in your mind. Because if you've got it clear in your mind, then they're the post you write. You write one post at a time to answer one specific question. And that's the way you start attracting people to you. Because people want to know the answer to those specific problems. If you're just writing anonymously about what you think might be of interest to people, you're in for a rude shock. You're never going to get anyone, all right? So, number one, know who in the heck you're writing the post for, understand them, and give them the answers to their problems. Number two, be conversational. Now, unless you're running a technical sort of blog, okay, if you're in the marketplace where I am, like the internet marketing space, right, or the affiliate marketing space, then please be conversational. This is very important. This is critical. Don't give people any lectures, right? Make them feel welcome. Make them feel that you understand them. Make, and, and you write your posts as if you were talking to them, to your friend. This is very important, okay? And don't worry too much if you make grammar mistakes. It doesn't matter, okay? And the other thing is, if you can, create a little video and stick it in your blog post as well. And again, be conversational. Just adding to the content you've got in your written format, all right? But the key thing is to have it like a conversation with a friend. Third thing, grab their attention. This is critical. I mean, how do you do that? I mean, there's all sorts of things you can do there. Having a title that grabs people's attention with a bit of mystery or a bit of intrigue or whatever it may be, okay? Or having a title that rates well in the SEO engines, okay? Whatever you do. I'm not good on SEO. I'd much rather write for my audience and hope like mad they find me, all right? And they're they doing that anyway, right? So one, have a title that grabs their attention. But more impressively and more importantly, be real. Be you. Be authentic. Share what's absolutely real for you. Let me tell you, you know already, people love reality, all these reality shows, right? So show them that you're real. Share, I mean, share your mistakes. Be gutsy. Share your mistakes. People will enjoy that and they will appreciate you even more. And the other thing is, try and be different. Think about that. How can you be different? This is what I've tried to do. First of all, my branding is the remote Thai village marketer or the remote Thai village blogger, okay? I always sign off my emails that way and I also use that within my blog posts and the comments, etc. I, I want to get known as a remote Thai village blogger and marketer, right? Secondly, to be different, and, and you've got to do this to help grab attention to people, is when they come to your blog, make them feel welcome. Don't bombard them with banners. Don't bombard them with offers. Don't do that. How can you make yourself memorable? This is what I've done, and it's an idea for you. Does it work? Absolutely. Does it help with your traffic coming back? Absolutely. Does it build relationships? Absolutely. This is what I do. Very simple. Once I've got a comment from a reader for the very first time, or sometimes if they've been there many times but something very special, I'll do the same thing. I'll create a simple one-minute thank you video. That's all. A very simple thank you video, personalised to that person, right? Talking to them about the actual post that they visited and why I'm thanking them. And then I'll post it on YouTube as an unlisted video. 
and then send them an email with a link to that video. That's it. Does it make you memorable? Absolutely. Is it difficult? No. So there you are. There's my tips. Follow them through. If you are starting out online and you want to know how to get some people to come and visit with you, come and talk with you, comment with you and build your community, think those things through. If you're having a battle online with your blog and you've been there for a while, think of them as well. Let me tell you, they work. They're simple, they're people-oriented, and they don't cost you anything. That's my thoughts for today. Hope you found it helpful. All the best. Bye for now.